When we talk about meditation, it is the true growth. Definition, talk. Meditation can be really deep. Can be very different. When we talk about meditation. We often talk about sitting in some certain posture, and then just sitting there, either listen to music, listen to the the breath. Counting. So there are many techniques. There are really many techniques in meditation. Meditation nowadays is not only the trends in the religion, but it can be everywhere. Now it's spread out everywhere in the world. Beside the Buddhism, and some of the Hinduism, and other spiritual groups, for example, like also, and other spirit meditation center. Sometimes it doesn't relate to. Religion at all. It just some of the practice that people adopt it to practice to keep their mind calm to keep the straight away. But those kind of meditation, generally, is a basic meditation. I call it quiet meditation. There are many names for meditation, but in here, in my term, in my understanding, in my expertise, I call it quiet meditation. Quiet meditation is sitting there quiet, and keep your mind empty. That the basic meditation. Of course, not just to keep the mind empty. There must be techniques. Technique that, in other part, I have taught you. Meditation, actually, is the easier thing to do. People just sitting there, they listen to music. Counting. I do all kind of activity. Keep them down, calm down. Keep the mind calm down. But just say it's easy. But actually, meditation is the hardest things in the world.
It's only easy because you don't know how to meditate. It's easy because you only go for the basic. It's easy because you take it easy. Meditation, as I said, it's very easy. As you see, meditation, just sitting there, relax. Keep everything out of your mind. Follow the breath. In and out. In and out. That's easy, right? But if you sit there, five minutes, ten minutes, twenty minutes, thirty minutes. It's so easy. Everything quiet. So calm. So concentrated. But then, if you go on, forty minutes, fifty minutes, and then you will understand. You will see how your mind react. The concentration there, just there, just right there, thirty minutes ago. It's gone. It no longer stay there. Your mind no longer come in concentration. Suddenly, all the thoughts all the thinking, all the sensation will start to come and to disturb you. Your mind start to become disturbing. It disturbs itself. You start to think this. You start to think that. And starts a lot of thought, a lot of plans, a lot of things that you wouldn't think. It just come. One talk to another. Even after you finish this one, and you come. That is me that I say if you're able to sit there. Sometimes you're not able to sit there at all. Because the talk comes. The blinding thing. And then it brings you out of the meditation. At the beginning, sometimes I advise all of the communication, like no way from noise and thing, just turn it off. Because one, it disturbs you, and then you lose the concentration. Right so that is the external thing. So the external thing you can control. But the internal thought of the mind is not easy. So that's why you need to practice. Before practice, you can find a quiet room. Or somewhere you feel comfortable, you see. That is all the action. It's easy. It's easy to arrange. But then the internal it's not easy. You're sitting there. The longer you sit, you will see how much your mind stop you. Because people, we always live on activity. From time to time. We do this, after finish, we do that. After that, we do this, do that. Things will come and go like that. We finish one job, another job comes. We have one business, another business comes. We need a this thing, another thing will come. And we just keep going, going, going. 
that the mind. But when sitting there, meditating, we settle down. Just the inner self. We don't do anything. We just let ourselves sit in there. Because the mind is get you to we do this, do that, thing, that, thing, that. So now you let it not thinking, not doing anything. Be by not doing by your physical body. And then you will see the mind start to ask you, to order you to do things. It will just revolve you. It can't stay there. That I always say, it's a monkey mind. Your mind is just like a monkey. Jump here, there, here, there, there. It can't stay there. So that's why you need the power of mind. The power of meditation and concentration. But this power only have when you truly practice it on a daily basis. And the more instinct the practice, the more power you will achieve. That I talk about the quiet meditation. Just sitting there, quiet, follow your breath, and try to stop all the thought. But to stop all the thought is not easy. There must be the technique, the power. That I told you before, I taught you about many things. To control the thought is not to get involved with it. To see the thought is to watch it. Not to merge into it. So when sitting there for the longest time, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, and then the thought will start to come. And the thought will come even more. Not talking about the sleepiness. If you are a truly a long term meditator, you will know that. The 30 minutes, the first 30 minutes or the first an hour, everything just got very calm down. And then you even fall to sleep. And then you have to get out of the sleep. And then you start to go to meditate, get to the concentration. But then not yet. The thought, the mind, the physical mind, will not let you go there easily. You will think that, you will think this, you think that, you think this. And you start to merge into it. You start to get going on and on and thing and that and that. That is not quite meditation. That is the further state. I call it contemplative meditation. That is more advanced. That is when you contemplate some of the point. To learn from it, to see the root, to root all everything out. But for the beginner, quiet meditation is to keep the mind in quiet. That I said, to keep the mind in quiet, you must not much instruct it. You must not take it personally. You must be able to recognize it. When the thought comes, have to seek it. But 
not to think about it. Right away to remove it. As I said before, there's a technique to do it. The technique, see, you look, you see the part. And then you make it disappear. To make it disappear, there is the power. The power, language power. Your thing is just like a gun or an arrow. Depend on the language. You understand. I use it as the words in this to me meaning. I call it being. Being it means disappear. Or sometimes you can use another word. Dis disappear. Or go. Depend. You understand. So you either the language that make it disappear in your own understanding. But I want you can practice on so you can adopt the word being. Being is mean disappear in this new language. You can use it, take it. Just like a spell. A mantra. Bing is mean when you see the thought. You say bing. This mean you just concentrate in the word bing. Target to the thought come. Just like a bullet. Being here, just think you just like a bullet. And short bing. And concentrate on the word bing, not the thought itself. And then the thought not easy to get away. It will come back. It stay there. You continue. Shoot the second time. Be. I do not must into it or will remember that. Concentrate on the power. Be. Just continue with me. But do not say repeatedly, quickly. Say it. And give her and see if it come back. How strong it come back. It will disappear and later when it come back, the second, the third time it come back even stronger. And then you two have to concentrate on the being. Being is not that you can't target into the top. Make it shoot it. Be. Just continue like that. That will be faster. And then after this talk, another talk comes. We continue to target it. But in the short term, and during the meditation session, you use it. And you will keep your mind in control. This is a special technique that I developed. And it worked very well. You have to practice. The power only can be used, can be useful to you, can be powerful to you only with time and time and time practice. It's easy, but it's only easy because you don't practice it. Saying is easy, listening is easy, doing it for a short time is easy. But for longer term, to build power is the different. You must practice it in quiet meditation. And it will last in quiet meditation. It will develop in quiet meditation. And later in the future, in different kind of technique, when you want to change the topic, you want to change the thought that you want to content, you can change easily. You also can apply in normal daily life. When you hear something, I heard some. I have some. One of my cousin many years ago, and he complained to me. I said he had problem. I said what? 
He said, a problem because when he sings something, he can't stop singing. He just keeps singing and singing and singing. And even he stops singing in his mind, he's still singing. I have another friend here, music, musical teacher. He teaches about the core. And one time he complained to me. He said, today he have a, a student come to perform one of the songs. And then his voice horrible. But then his voice just keep repeating in his mind and he couldn't stop it. You see, the mind, the nature of mind like that. Sometimes you're stuck in something, it's just repeating itself just like a robot. And you can remove it. But with the power of concentration, with the power of the meditation, you will be able to do that. Like in my mind. If I want to hear something, or something in my mind repeating the song, sometimes I don't like I just want to stop it. I stop with one or two or three times of the power practice. I stop it. Sometimes going on in my mind, it keeps me sometimes it's uncomfortable. Or sometimes I don't want to listen. I don't want to think about it. I just stop it. And then it stops. That's the power. When I want to say something, I want to change the topic. I just stop the crime one topic, I move to another without any something to the own mind. This have to be careful. Even people one time I listened to A Chan Chan. He talked about the people. He had some student teaching. And one time, one of his students, his disciple, gave a lesson, gave a sermon to one of a new group of monks. And then after finish the teaching, so that monk, that disciple, he moved back to his own place. But in that night, Ajahn Chah to listen, to hear something. He hears something, just keep going, talking, talking, talking. And he went there. He looked for his disciple. He got the sound there. And when he saw, he, he met his disciple. And he, and he saw that. He just kept teaching. Teaching alone, himself. And Ajahn Chah, he asked, Why are you do, talk, keep talking? And he said, He answered to Ajahn Chah, Master, I don't know, so since after the sermon, I get the teaching to the new monks. And my mind, it just keeps talking. I can't stop it. You see? That's the my brother. So it's just like in the world, human, the human, the worldly people, the same thing. When they start to keep something, thinking something, they can't stop it. They just keep thinking, thinking. Are you thinking good? It's okay. Are you thinking bad? It will bring them to straight from the soul, to stop. It's just like he. It's just like any other emotion. It just keep going and going and going. If you don't know how to cut. In Buddhism, practice. Not every Buddhist, not every Buddhist monk practice meditation, <laughs> but it's some school of thought. They practice meditation. They keep their minds in control in different way. It's more passive. Normally, they just sitting there. They use some technique like counting. Counting the breath, breath in, breath out, or exhale, inhale. Or sometimes they're counting one, two, three, four, five. And they count again one, two, three, four, five. Or sometimes they count one, two. And they read that one, two. 
They concentrate in something like that. But they do not understand. They do not know how to target. They just do like that for a while because the concentration just like the mantra. Or some people, they will read the mantra to keep them calm. To concentrate. They call, so they concentrate in the mantra. Instead of that, they let the mind think they think. But once you speak, you make things like that. Your mind eventually will calm down. It will quiet down. But it takes time. And then it comes back again. If you stop counting. Or sometimes after counting, you tire. And then you fall into sleep. In quiet meditation, it's quiet the journey. Some people fall into paralysis, even with a long-term meditation, if they don't know. They may fall into paralysis. Paralysis is the state of they don't know anything. When they go deep in meditation and they fall into deep sleep, and they just stay there. And then the saliva might just spill out from their mouth. They don't even know. Or sometimes from the nose, from the mouth, running the water around. That is the state of paralysis. It's not concentration. I said a concentration in meditation is the state of knowing out and in. Especially you know everything out inside. How it's going inside. That is concentration. That is the state. Or some people, we call it samadhi. But I call it concentration state. When you can go deep in concentration state, you will understand, you will be able to see your mind, you can see the quietness in your mind under your own control. Not paralyzed. Not sitting the hour, two hours paralyzed on nothing. Meditation in knowing thing. You can start to listen inside. So loud, so clear, and so powerful of your own power control of the top of the mind. Because the quiet meditation. It also the last thing for a Zen meditator. As I told you before, to realize yourself, to know oneself, to live in oneself in the state of the energy body, of electricity energy body, the spiritual body, the sacred energy body. They need, you need a lot of therapy to go to that level. Quiet meditation is the step, but it's a strong foundation. Because one must master quiet meditation, then he can go into different type of meditation. Because quiet meditation power Help people, help meditator to stabilize their mind. Because as I said, your mind is just like a monkey. And all kinds of emotion, right up and down, come and go. That's the nature. You have learned a lot about the emotion and mind. Have to keep in control. But how to keep in control? That the important. And to keep the mind in control, not only from the experience of spiritual wisdom through practice and learning, 
after life. But it needs the power of meditation, the power of mind control. The true power that you able to tell your mind, your body, and they will listen to you. That's the power. The power to understand yourself. The power to be yourself. To be your own, own master. To be friends. To le have leverage. With the physical mind power. That's the power of a spiritual cultivator, meditator. So you should practice daily. Be master in the quiet meditation and feel be the power. Be. As I told you before, that being is just the beginning. It's just the starting. Follow breath is also another important. After your mind become quiet, it calm down. And you fall into, you get deep into concentration. And then, the next job is to follow your prayer. In and out. You know it when you breathe in. You know it when you exhale. Just do like that. Quiet. The more you do, the breath becomes more subtle. The longer you do, the power will become. If you're sitting there for two hours, three hours, Suddenly, the breath start become vanish, disappear, and concentration power start to spread out, develop. You will stay in state of concentration. The empty, just like you stay in the middle of the our cosmos, out in the thing. Just nothing. Quiet. That's the power of quiet meditation. So you need to practice. This cannot be achieved in the short term. This must take time to practice. The longer the practice, the more powerful you will attain. You need to do one hour, two hours, three hours a day, or any time when you have time. Just sitting there, meditate, and to start to concentrate, to practice the power. When you master this technique, you can go on with other. As I taught you about the fire meditation. Fire meditation is the difference between another fair in quiet meditation. I taught you before of a fair burn meditation. Burn is a fire. When you talk, instead of of the beam, now you burn everything down. Even the thought, everything down, you just say burn. You have to something that on burn. But that is the later when you start to count it. But fat beam is a very important. Fat beam is the it starts there. But if the last thing you will be using, you will be using it daily and do down your life. As long as you still meditate, as long as you still, as long as you still want to get to do the concentration, you still use it. So try to practice. 
that very power. That acquired meditation. And later, you will learn different type of technique. Like I know you are practicing too. It called sometimes I call it candle meditation. Or now you call quiet fire meditation that time. That is when you sitting there quietly, concentrate on the candle. But that technique is for to achieve the non-self. Achieve the non-self when you contemplate your own death. So to free you up from suffering. When you have, you attain the state of mind of no self. The state of mind that you sustain the state of living just like a spirit. And you are your body, your mind, difficult to disturb. Because you as attain, you understand the state of spirit world. You live in the state of the spiritual body, of the energy body, the sacred energy body, even though you have not been able to merge into it yet. But you too can be manifest of that power. Until one day, if you could merge to your own sacred energy body and you can live in that body within your physical body, that time, you become real life of yourself. Oh, no, no, no. You liberate. You have attained the liberation in spirituality. Oh, no, the struggle. You have truly become enlightened. angel a sacred entity of yourself you will know it you will understand it. I'm not able to tell you how many because I only the one know myself I haven't seen anyone else but once attain that level you will know yourself you will see yourself differently. But before that, you can practice some other technique and manifest that experience. So as I said, practice, build your own concentration power in quiet meditation. Profess in the power of being or disappear. Control the mind strictly. Control the thought. Then you can think what you want to think. When you master the thought, the, the, the mind and the fat being and the power of the, of this, the control of the mind. You will be able to think, to merge into whatever thought comes. And if something you don't want, you just remove it easily. So emotion is the same thing. Sometimes you will recognize the emotion, negative emotion, and you remove it instantly. Because you have the power, the power of wisdom, the power of my control, the power of meditation, concentration. That when you truly be yourself,
But remember, nothing is for free. Nothing is easy. Easy thing doesn't bring you anywhere. Everything have the cause of it. This only if you truly want to practice. You have to be serious in practice. Determined to practice it. Strong determination. Strong will to go. And you will understand how your body reacts. It's not easy. The longer you stay there, you sit there, you will see how much your body will react to you. As I said before, meditation is best to achieve with younger body. People we won't think, oh, when I get old, I will meditate. When I get old, I will count him. That is the wrong perception. But of course, because sometimes people, they have been living up and down, joy the life too much. And they use all their youth time. And then long time, they have nothing to do and they start to count people. That's too late. Too late to attain. Cultivation is never too late. But you want to attain this your power. You need to cultivate. You need to practice when you are young. Your body is stronger. Because sitting meditation there for hours and hours is not easy part for older body. When you live in too much comfortable your body won't let you sit in one place like that for such a long time. Uncomfortable time. We will try to wrap you back to the lie you have been. By practicing it, you will. The more you enjoy your body with pleasure, the more you entertain your mind with pleasure. The more you take in all kinds of things to satisfy, to seek for the pleasure. When you're sitting there, it will bring you up. The shorter you will be sitting there. Because the body doesn't want uncomfortable. Is get you to with the comfortability. And then you will lose difficult for you. You will lose your concentration practice. You can go deep. That's it the exchange. The trade off. You see, that's the power of concentration. The more your mind monkey, the more your mind seeking pleasure, the more your mind is consuming with the external things, the more shallow power you will cut it. In meditation. Because that's the nature of the body. Your body only. Nature is a British weekly scientific journal founded and based in London, England. Your body only one glacier. Uh, it flooding with emotion, one emotion to another emotion, one to another. That's why they call cultivation. 
Cultivation is evil thing that you need to reverse thing. Building the power. The older the body you have, the more difficult to attain the internal power, the superhuman power. Remember, to attain liberation, to realize oneself spiritually, to attain enlightenment, that is to become a superhuman. You are building yourself. in different way, different direction. You are building your own superpower. You watching movie, do you see that's what they say? Power comes with responsibility. But before the power comes, you need to have responsibility. Responsibility is to the practice. Responsibility to yourself to be disciplined. Practicing yourself, the responsibility yourself to build the power of my country. Through that doctrine, with practices, you train from yourself, train from yourself from the worldly mind into a super human. Because once you're able to merge with your Sacred energy body. That is when you truly understand what is the true power, sacred power. Your third eyes is the center of the universe in you. You will accept with the entire universe to your third eye. Strong. You will be one of the king. On your own. You don't need the crown. The crown is for worldly people, ignorant people. You will have your own crown on the top of your head with the power there. You will see the crown up there. You don't need to see the black hole in the cosmos. The black hole is just right on the top of your head. You don't need to open your head to see your brain because you're able to feel the left brain and the right brain. You will be able to experience, to know all the blood flow, energy flow in your body, from your head down to the body. You will experience all peace, very little cell in your body in a way of the energy of the electricity, of the sacred electricity in your body. Remember, the sacred energy in your body is not the raw energy like you know. Humans only know the raw electricity because their knowledge is very raw. If one wants to know it, one has to practice and attain and understand the sacred world.
the cosmos, the galaxy, always flowing. It's flowing in you, on your forehead, like the third eye of wisdom. You experience the whole cosmos out. It just happened in you. Remember, I have told you. You are a product of a billion of years. You have that ability. So you need to practice this discipline. Discipline from the physical body to practice the mind. That's the basic of meditation. And there, there are more techniques in the middle way. The way to transform. But I told you before. Step by step. You have to practice in the middle way. But the middle way of meditation is just the bridge to bring you higher. Advance. You train from yourself to advance meditator. But as you know that moving meditation, fire meditation, walking meditation, shaking meditation. You see that. So at the moment, you need to concentrate on the quiet meditation and shaking meditation. That are too important. Okay. That is for today. <laughs>